it was time for another theatre trip. Three times this week I've been to the theatre. You'll be seeing this obviously later on, but it's Sunday, I want to say the 23rd of April, and today I'm going to see another mischief theatre comedy show. I'm going to see the comedy about bank robbery. I'm really excited. Uh, I booked this seat literally yesterday. Um, it's Sunday, so they do a special on Sunday. You can buy band A tickets for £25. So you know me, if it's cheap and on my budget, I will buy a ticket. So I'm super excited to see another Mischief Theatre show. We're just at the, in uh, the interval, I'll say the instant, the interval of a comedy about a bank robbery and oh my god, it is so funny, I am seriously enjoying it. Um, this is such a good show to take someone to the West End if they like aren't a big musical theatre fan or like a theatre fan in general. Uh, it's almost a bit pantomime but in a good way. Uh, I know I said in my previous like Aladdin vlog that it felt pantomime and I didn't really enjoy that. This is pantomime in like the best way. Sorry, I've got some stuff on my lips there. I've literally come straight from work today to the theatre, so I was a bit like, a bit tired. But I had a coffee beforehand, so I'm feeling quite awake. And yeah, I'm gonna go in for act two now, and I'm really, really excited to see how the rest of the show plays out, because it's just so funny. Like, every moment there's something to laugh at, which is always good. Welcome back to the talking section of the video. Sorry this is probably a really short video in comparison to my recent ones. Um, it's a bit of a rush. I had work this morning and went literally straight to the theatre. It's lucky that I work in Leicester Square. So, I mean, the Criterion Theatre is probably a four minute walk from my work. So that was very handy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I literally booked my ticket for this yesterday. Um, I just... I was thinking about um, if I was going to be able to see anything next week and I didn't have any shows planned and I thought well I need to see the comedy about bank robbery and a friend of mine mentioned that they do a deal on Sundays where if you buy band day tickets and then put in Sundays at the checkout you can get those tickets for £25 so they're normally around the £50 mark and yeah I love a bargain so I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna take advantage of that. I recently saw the play that goes wrong. You might have seen that vlog. If not, it'll be linked up here, I think, or here. It'll be somewhere on the screen. Um, I'll also link it down below. Um, so I only recently saw that, and that is obviously mischief, mis mischief, mischief comedy, mischief theatre. Their first show, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was the play that goes wrong. Peter Pan goes wrong, and then the comedy about a bank robbery. I could be getting those last two mixed up. Obviously they've got two shows currently in the West End. The play that goes wrong is on Broadway, which is awesome. I'm so like pleased for them. Um, because obviously I was like really happy for them before seeing these shows anyway. But to now I've seen both of their shows in the West End, I am bloody thrilled about. So I was really looking forward to seeing this, um, even though I only booked it yesterday, because I was looking forward to seeing it anyway. You know, um, because a lot of friends that have seen it um, said that this was not only just as hilarious but because it has more of an actual story um that it kind of makes it even funnier in a way and i agree i actually loved comedy about bank robbery more than the play that goes wrong um i think because there was like some musical elements to it as well you know me i love a musical so that really um made it a bit different it i just really enjoyed it it was so so funny and it was interesting because as i said in my like interval thoughts um it there are like a lot of pantomime-esque elements um so it's interesting to see how when they are put in different shows because when i was saying that i was thinking of how i saw aladdin the other week um and i didn't like the pantomime elements in that show but i really enjoyed them in this one which i think is an interesting thought press through thought press thought process 
to go through. Um, I, I just, it worked for a show like this. I feel like they're definitely done differently. Sorry, I've got like the, my laptop screen and my eye and my glasses as well. Sorry, I've got the cast list up here. Um, Cause it was actually quite a big cast. I think after seeing the play that goes wrong, I think that was five or six people. It's quite a small cast, I feel in comparison to this. Let's see how many people there are. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, including swings um, and understudies. Um, so I guess it's a bigger cast in comparison. Um, the, everyone in this cast was so funny. Um, I didn't think I knew anyone in the cast, but actually I saw Tanya Matherin who plays, oh my gosh, she's got so many credits, I can't actually see Ruth. Ruth, Ruth is her name. Um, so she, I saw her in Wicked quite a lot because she was in the cast when I was obsessed with it. Um, so that was the last time I think, I think it was the last time. Let's check her credits. Um, oh no, I saw her in the Book of Mormon most recently. That's right. Um, and who else? I just realized before I started filming that there was someone else that I recognized. If you've been watching me for a while and watched my Vlogmas from 2016, I went to see Peter and the Starcatcher in Northampton. Um, one of the cast members, I kept on thinking during the show, I was like, I definitely recognize you, but I just can't think of where from. Um, so that was Miles Yakini, and he was in Peter and the Starcatcher. And now that I know that, I'm like, of course, of course you were. But apart from that, I think, I don't think I've really seen anyone else in this cast, which is really interesting. I always find it's quite fascinating to um, go see a show where you don't know anyone. It's quite interesting. Well, I obviously knew of Tanya uh, before, definitely. But that's just... Um, an observation that I had. I don't want to spoil the show and it is kind of weird to say that this has more of a story than the play that goes wrong. Um, I work in a, in theatre ticketing and when I customers ask like what's the difference I'm like well the play that goes wrong like everything that could go wrong to them whilst putting on the play does go wrong and then for the comedy about bank robbery obviously before I saw it I was like I think it's more stuff that actually goes wrong during the storyline itself which I guess does make sense, but it's a weird thing to explain to someone who hasn't seen either of them. Like they don't have a concept of the comedy that Mischief Theatre put on. I think if you've seen one or the other, you kind of get that. I thought uh, overall the kind of production value for this one was a lot higher than the play that goes wrong, but I don't know if that's also just because there's more to the story, as I said. Um, Again, I don't want to spoil it too much, but for example, in the actual robbery scene, the stuff that goes on in that is just insane. There is one scene, again, I'm not going to spoil it, but um, if you've seen it, you'll know. Um, the scene where they are in the, um, the air vent shafts, is that what they're called? Um, when they're in that, and the whole staging of that scene, I was my mind was blown when i when it first appeared i was like is this real like are they are they tricking my brain what is happening but no it was all totally totally legitimate and i am obsessed with it it was so good i would love to know for people that have seen the show multiple times if they kind of change little bits during not during but like if little tweaks and quirks like happen over time because I feel like as much as I would definitely return to see this play, I wonder for repeat visitors if there are little differences that kind of make it more exciting each time, you know? Um, because I feel like because it's more of a more of a plot in this one, there's not as much room for ad libs maybe, or breaking character, if that makes sense. So if you've seen the show like a few times, please do let me know if they do anything like that because I'd be really interested to know. I feel like this is something that I've just started talking about in every single review and now I have to continue it, but here's a little seat review for you. So as I said, I was in the band A seats reduced to 25 pounds. So I was in the stalls. I think there was this option in the higher levels, but I just, I wanted to sit in the stalls. And the last time I came to the Criterion Theatre was January of last year, I think. Uh, I saw close to you. Those seats were day seats and they were on like the end of row J, I think. And there was 
I think there was like a pillar or something in my way and it wasn't a good view so I was a bit scared going back in today I was like I can't remember what the seats themselves were like but I was in row E seat 11 and it was such a good view I felt like it was really perfect for a show like this the kind of rake of the stalls was spot on in terms of not having someone like directly in front of you too badly um you could just see everything and it was perfect you also got mildly affected by some of the action in the show by being uh this far forward in the stalls and towards the right if you've seen the show you'll probably know which moment i'm referring to because um i was shocked <laughs> um and uh, a bit grossed out by what happened that's all i'm gonna say i feel like it's really hard to talk about shows like this without spoiling it but I really, I loved how the story unfolded. I thought it was hilarious and kudos to this cast because especially on a two show day, like the energy levels involved are ridiculous. I mean, there was, there was full on sweat um, throughout most of the show. It's actually for a play, it's very like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Energetic. Um, I don't want to say like high action, but they, they're constantly like going, going, going. There's rarely a moment of pause for both them and for the audience. I feel like we were laughing throughout pretty much all of it, um, which is a massive sign of success for this show. Um, and it was just, I, I definitely like, I've, if you know me, if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll know that I've tried to not repeat C shows as much recently, but I feel like this is definitely one that I'll be returning to quite soon. Um, I really want to take my boyfriend to go see it, so hopefully he'll enjoy it. Uh, I think it's one that he would. As I said in the interval, I feel like if, if you're taking someone to the theatre and they're not like a massive theatre fan, a show like this would be like a perfect one to take them to just because it's so bloody hilarious um and i mean you'd have to really lack in a sense of humor to not enjoy this show so you should go see it as i mentioned on sunday they do this 25 pound deal um but if you're looking to go any other day you know what's coming you can get tickets on to datex and again i'm not sponsored by them but you can get 10 pound off with my code which will be here and also linked below and if you can get 10 pounds off a show why would you not? Maybe one day today Tix will sponsor me. I feel like if I just say it in every video, they might, and that'd be really nice. As usual, please do let me know if you have been to see the comedy about a bank robbery or any of the other mischief theatre shows. I'd just love to hear your opinions about it. Um, yeah, it's really fun and I can't wait to see what they get up to in the future. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you'd like to see more of me in the future. I do lots of theatre videos, reviews and all that shenanigans so hopefully you'll enjoy my channel. I hope you're doing really well and I'll see you very soon. Bye!